Dominic Wilcox, I'm an artist, designer, inventor and we're in my studio in London. My work's really diverse, so I'm doing sketches of ideas and sometimes I'll make the decision to make it into a real object and this line between the sketch and a real object is always a question I ask myself. I'm interested in technology in that it is the closest thing to magic, so creating a surprise, something that makes you go, oh, like that. But I'm not so interested in approaching it from a techie perspective. In September 2012, I designed some No Place Like Home GPS shoes, and these shoes were inspired by the Wizard of Oz and Dorothy, who wears those ruby red slippers, and when she clicks her heels together, she gets taken back to Kansas. And I just thought, is it possible, given modern technology, to do something similar or inspired by those ruby red slippers? So I've done another uh, project which combines tradition and craft of the past with technology. And it was really taking my little um, invention drawings that I do, variations on normal, and making some of them real. And this is a traditional teacup with cooling fan. Also, one of my ideas was to create a pair of binoculars that can see into the future or the past. It's a sort of fictional design object. I, I quite like making objects that are sort of like props in a, in a story that hasn't been written. My design for Dazine and Mini Frontiers is um, based on the future and also referencing the past. The original Mini came out in um, 1959 and I'm looking at the year 2059 and thought, how will we be traveling around in 2059? And it's inspired by the idea that I've had that in the future, it will be safer to drive in a driverless car than it is to drive in a manual car. And therefore, we don't need the protection systems that are built into contemporary cars. We can just have a shell of any design and I'm gonna make a stained glass driverless car. It's, it's, it's a sort of sleeper car, in fact, I'm making. So you can actually just lie down, read a book or go to sleep, and the car will take you to your destination. I think about a year ago, I was in Durham Cathedral, and I was really struck by the um, stained glass windows. I thought, how come we don't really use that so much in contemporary design? So I'm learning about a bit of glass making and just like working out how on earth does one make a stained glass car <laughs> of the future?